to announce that there will be an increase to the hours of operation for our customer service call center at Davisville. Uh, currently, the, the times are 9 to 5, and they're going to be extended to 7, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. From th Sorry. Chris, why don't you tell us about this customer service update? <laughs> so, the, the Metro Pass Discount Plan Office and Customer Service Center, the physical one in the basement of Davisville, where you can sign up for the Metro Pass, where you can buy products, where you can make exchanges, currently operates from 8 to 5 p.m. and extended hours from the first and last day of the month until 5.30. Starting tomorrow on every Thursday and the first and last day of the month, it will be from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. It will be a great deal more opportunity for customers to come in to make exchanges and specifically at least one day a week where they can come to the Metro Pass office after their work hours and they can get that service that they need. So that starts from tomorrow. And uh, the other one is just, I want to make sure, did, did every member of the commission get their vision and mission document that Andy put together? You did get it, it was sent around and someone was put in the same place. So I got another one and I just want to make sure everybody got theirs. Okay, good. And so, um, to, as, as part of living our vision and our values, what we do, what I like to do at each meeting is provide demonstrations and examples of when our employees actually did live and behave in the vision and the values that we're trying to establish as part of our change. And so, if you'll indulge me, I'd like to read some examples of how our employees were serving not just the riders but our city over the past couple of weeks. So, one of our behaviors that we're trying to Promote is be active and step up and don't wait for others. A blind man with a cane seemed disoriented and started to cross the street, then stopped and turned back to the sidewalk. He then turned back and started toward the crosswalk again. Traffic backed up and people stopped. Everyone seemed willing to be waiting for the blind man to make up his mind. The driver of the Evans 15 bus was not satisfied, just leaving to his own devices there. Instead, he pulled over, came out of his bus, approached the man, spoke to him, and helped him get his bearings so he could walk safely to the sidewalk towards his destination. I was extremely proud to be a Torontonian at this moment. This level of personal care, concern, and service has always made me so proud that we have the TTC and its quality employees and citizens. Another value, that, a core value that we have is valuing the time of our, our customer's time. I have been taking the TTC for over 10 years now and I've never been so impressed by one of your employees. The driver I encountered today on my journey home has not only put a smile on my face, but has also put a smile on every passenger's face that rode the 36B West bus tonight. He was so funny, pleasant, and respectful. It makes me want to be a better person and a more positive person just by having briefly met him tonight. I really wish I would have asked his name because he deserves to be acknowledged and rewarded for his incredible customer service skills. The next one is about our behavior, about being collaborative and sharing knowledge in order to make better decisions. My 79-year-old mother boarded a Sather Street northbound bus at Glencairn Avenue, traveling to a doctor's appointment to a location she'd never been to before. She asked the driver for assistance and he freely offered it. At some point, the driver had to change with another driver. The outgoing driver briefed the incoming driver about my mother needing some help. At the correct address, the new driver informed my mother that she had arrived at her destination. My mother was very grateful and thanked both of the drivers. I too am very grateful for their assistance and professionalism. Please pass on our gratitude to both of these gentlemen. And finally, it's being accountable and taking responsibility. I have to tell you, I've been and still am in the customer service industry for over 50 years now and I just love it. As a diehard commuter, I have found that your bus drivers, station staff, security folks, etc. are the most wonderful and nice folks I've encountered. I constantly observe traits they display as being the best of the best. These folks really need to be shown that they are valued for the extraordinary effort they put out every day. That alone reinforces the customer service mantra I feel the TTC needs to promote at all costs. So can I have a motion to sign an acknowledgement of thanks to all the authors who have been mentioned? Okay. So before we go to the items that have, where we have documents and presentations, are there any other questions?